Okay, welcome back to Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and we're going to try to keep this one short, sweet, to the point. So let's get going. All right, are we on the verge of another 21st Great Depression? All right, I've done videos on the Great Depression and everything else. Back then, it wasn't fun for people and everything else, and I don't think it's going to be fun for us if we have to go through one. But why would the government want to do that? All right, we're already looking at lockdowns. Are there lockdowns coming? All right, the government is already discussing the lockdowns with the head of states and everything else. So what is taking place here? They're trying to go ahead and move forward with whatever their agenda is going to be. Us, as the people, uh, we get stuck dealing with whatever they decide to do. We don't have much of a choice. Now, you will have people, if there is a lockdown, you're going to have people that follow the rules, regulations, and they do everything they're supposed to do. You're also going to have the people that do not do that. They want to get out. They're going to protest because they're pissed off because, you know, they're locked down again. They can't go anywhere. They can't do anything, and so on and so forth. Vaccines, all right? Now they've already, you know, starting to mandate a lot of companies and everything else are starting to mandate that their employees have to be vaccinated by a certain date or they take a chance of losing their job or they have to be tested two or three times a week. That's just where we're headed, folks. Now, whether you get the vaccine or you don't get the vaccine, I'm not here to talk about that. That's your own personal opinion. And I, to me, it's whatever you want to do. It's your life. So that you have to make your own decisions on. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to give you any advice on that. I'm telling you what's taking place. So what can we do? What can be done to try to avoid this whole type of situation? There's really not too much that we can right now. We got so many different variants coming out. You got the Delta variant. Now you got the Colombian variant that's, that came from Colombia, and now they've, they found it down here in Florida. So, you know, we're getting smacked from both sides here. This thing is mutating faster than what they can keep up making in the vaccines. So it makes you wonder what's really going on and how they're going to control what is taking place they're going to have to do something drastic folks i mean the writing's on the wall it doesn't take a scientist to put two and two together and get four and you can understand where all this is coming from now so what is coming around and why am i talking about a great depression well the government knows how to handle the amount of people with the amount of food that they have they did it through the Great Depression. They had all the cards. You were rationed on what you could buy on a daily basis. So they know how to do this. It's not their first rodeo, folks. It's something that they could very easily implement once again into Coming history. From. Now, you don't get a lot of information from your mainstream media because right at this point in time, you know, they're giving you little bits of, you know, oh yeah, it's a, the, the cases are increasing and this, that, and the other, and all this kind of because They don't tell you everything else that's going on behind the scenes, what could be coming down the pike. And that's why I'm here and I'm telling you this. All right. Now, I'm not the only YouTube channel that is telling you this. Everybody that's a prepper out there is doing videos on this said subject because we want to get the information out there because we see what's coming down the pike. We're listening to and reading a lot of information that we find online to people that are talking about this information that go into great detail and everything else. It's out there, folks. All you have to do is do your homework and search for it, and you're going to find a lot of this information. Now, what can we do? You know, I mean, everybody is going to be totally ticked off, you know, if we do go back into lockdowns. And if once they announce the lockdown, What's going to happen, folks? We saw what happened before. All of a sudden, when they announced the lockdown, the stores were emptied. And remember this, back then, the stores were totally stocked because there was nothing going on. It was like a normal day, you know? And then all of a sudden, the lockdowns hit and the stores were empty. Now the stores are like half full at best. And what are we going to be dealing with? You're going to, if they announce a lockdown, there's half of that product that's left. So if you live in a highly populated area... You definitely want to be getting out and, and getting your preps and whatever kind of stuff that you do need, either your emergency stuff, your food and everything else, any type of preps that you can get, you need to get now. If you live in a less populated area out in the sticks somewhere and you got a corner store or something like that, you know, a small country store, you might have a little bit more time than some of the other people. Maybe. It just depends. Because more than likely, you people that are living out there, you have gardens, you do your canning, you have all that kind of stuff that you can fall back on. You don't rely so much on the grocery store chains. So the point of this is, the higher your population in the area that you live, the more urgent this message is. The lower 
the population where you live, the less urgent this message is. But you still have to get out and get prepared. Because once this all hits the fan and stuff, you're going to see interruptions with delivery services. You're going to have um, food services. They're not, they don't have enough truck drivers now. What do you think is going to happen then? They're not going to have enough people to supply the demand. All right, folks? So you need to get out. You need to get prepared. You need to be start buying you know, all your dry goods, your canned goods, your emergency supply stuff, all this type of stuff. Treat this as if it is a Category 5 hurricane coming to your town and you can't leave. You have to stay and ride the storm out. And the only thing that you can do is prepare. You're given a warning. You're given a warning the storm is coming. The perfect storm is brewing, folks, and it's only a matter of time. We've got all that stuff that's going on out west, which is just adding to the whole bad situation that we're in right now. You've got all those huge fires that are burning, the lack of water. They're talking dams are going to be turning off their power and stuff because the water's dropping slower and lower and lower. Lake Mead, they just announced this the other day. It's 27 feet from them turning off the turbines. That means that most of Las Vegas will be in the dark. I'm just telling you, this is what the scientists that monitor that dam are reporting. It's out there, folks. The perfect storm is brewing. It is time for you to prepare now. Get out. Go through your flyers. Make sure that you're checking to get any sale that you possibly can. Buy one, get one. Whatever is 10 for $10. Whatever the sales can be, make sure that you're maximizing on those deals to put as much in your pantry, your storage, your emergency supply, whatever it is, so that when the storm hits, you'll be prepared. And you and your family, hopefully, can ride it out safely and come out the other side. So until next time, folks, I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me today. Thrive to survive. Get out there, get prepping, and I'll catch all of you on the flip side. Mm -hmm.